Before placing the Bakri balloon transvaginally, you must determine the uterine volume. Insert the balloon, making sure that the entire balloon is placed fully inside the uterus. Next, place a Foley catheter to collect and monitor urine output. If you are placing the Bakri balloon transabdominally, you can determine the uterine volume by direct examination. Pass the balloon, inflation port first, through the uterus and cervix until it passes through to the vaginal canal. At this stage, have an assistant pull the shaft of the deflated balloon through the vaginal canal until it reaches the internal cervical os. Remember that if you remove the stopcock to aid the balloon's placement, you must reattach it before beginning inflation. Once the balloon is in place, close the incision and prepare for inflation. Spike a 500 milliliter IV bag with a provided bag spike and connecting tube. Flush the connecting tube with saline to expel any remaining air. Attach the red fitting on the IV tubing to the port labeled with a red band on the three-way valve. Once assembled, attach the three-way valve to the inflation port of the Bakri balloon. Then attach the syringe to the remaining port on the three-way valve. Now you can begin to inflate the balloon. Pull back on the syringe to fill it with saline directly from the IV bag. Press the plunger forward to push saline from the syringe into the Bakri balloon. Once you have inflated the balloon to the desired volume, close the stopcock on the Bakri balloon and remove the rapid installation components. Remember, the maximum indwell time for the balloon is 24 hours. It may be removed sooner if hemostasis is determined. Remove tension from the balloon shaft. If you used any vaginal packing, remove it now. Using an appropriate syringe, Aspirate the contents of the balloon until it is fully deflated. Gently retract the balloon from the uterus and vaginal canal and discard as appropriate. Make sure to monitor the patient for any signs of bleeding.